And it's time to check in with Kate to see what's trending this morning. Hey, lady. Hey, good morning, and let's give it up for Mean Girls Day, October 3rd. Little round of applause, very nice. You know, a little clapping may not seem like a big deal, but a university in the UK has other ideas. The BBC is reporting a Manchester university is banning clapping at its students union events. The university stopped short of calling it a ban, though, and says they're just strongly suggesting that students try out jazz hands <laughs> instead. <laughs> now, jazz hands, as we know them, are also known as the sign for applause in sign language. And the reason for all this is that they want to make these events more inclusive, more welcoming for students who may experience anxiety or have sensory issues and autism. They want to make an effort to be more inclusive. Of course, loyal viewers will know we never say no to jazz hands here on Daybreak. We love no, it. Never ever. So I think it's a good attempt, but there a lot of people are making fun of them online. And like I said, they're stealing our shtick. I know. See, jazz hands. That's our thing, UK. <laughs> There's enough jazz hands to go around. That's <laughs> good point. That's She's right. All Never about inclusion. Around the world. <laughs> well, you know how you want to send a text message and then you realize there's no llama emoji and it just ruins everything. <laughs> Well, not for long. New emoji are coming, 70 of them actually, with Apple's new software update. They include a llama, a cupcake, a bagel, and redheads. So my friend Carl will finally have to find something else to complain about. Also a stick of dynamite, a raccoon, and a badger. I know, we're all gonna remember where we were when we found out. And finally this morning, get the sense recently on social media, people are really looking for a break. And so this morning I present <laughs> animals eating pumpkins. This seasonal delight comes courtesy of the Oregon Zoo, the zoo's tortoise, black bear, beaver, and lemur doing their basic best and just enjoying fall. Studies conducted by me personally show that watching animals do just about anything lead to increased delight and decreased stress. Please enjoy. You know, it's funny. The squirrels that eat my pumpkins every year on my front porch they add, add to my stress. They don't relieve stress. No, it's not as, as delightful. No, not Watching at all. them eating someone else's pumpkin is yes. wonderful. <laughs> it's all about perspective, That's folks. That's right. Send them over to the neighbor's house. <laughs> Good call. Thanks very much, so Kate. So when we find out that the newsroom was totally unproductive today, we know why. Because we're all by our computers just watch, watching just watch, everything. And that. yesterday I was Neither. watching your Twitter feed and all of your retweets <laughs> of people posting pictures of their animals as if they were... Um, their profile profiles. pictures, a dating profile picture, which, by the way, Way, a lot of people participated, so thank you for that. It made me so happy. It was Steve so Brown funny. just says, my whole feed is animals. I'm like, you're welcome. Yep. <laughs> yes, it is. My dog likes long walks on the beach, by the way. Send a, send a pic, We'll Peter. do. We'll do. Participate. I feel out of the loop. What are you talking about? <laughs> we'll fill you back in after okay. that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Wait, let's get to like, like, what, like what are you talking this about? This conversation has just gone rogue.